Hi, this is Alisa from Look Cooking Rubber Stand. Are you ready for today's tutorial? Today's tutorial is the fourth of the 12 uh, challenge car project. So if you want to see all the previous tutorial, you can just uh, go to Look Cooking online DVD library and you can see all the listing. Or you can wait until the end of this tutorial, you will see all the previous uh, project. So what I'm going to show you today, that's started. Okay, ready? So before I show you the project, make sure you check our website for this week's special promotion. I'm offering a great deal for those 12 set that I'm using. Um, so you get a free corner die set, free pack of dark glossy, plus free shipping if you order more than two. Okay, that's to show you today's project. Ta-da! Isn't that awesome? And uh, it's pretty simple. All you have to need, uh, you, all you need is one die cut and the mirror paper, golden, the silver mirror paper, and the black cardstock. So how to do that? And of course, every tutorial I am going to share with you some great stampy technique or great tips that I know. So um, I would like to thank you my viewers so last tutorial i was showing this uh, this project and i was using a scissors uh, scissors uh, scissors die cut and then um i am um, the die cut let me go get my die cut okay so this this was the die cut that i i i bought it from the craft show a long time ago i i know it's a scissors but i don't know um which company was selling this die cut so I did some research and I post a link and then but uh, um, the die cut that I found from Stizik is probably only have like a six uh, circle dies. So this one you have a uh, probably fifteen. So it's uh, it's a uh, it's a great die cut because you can do a lot of things and I can't find it. So and then my viewers, you guys, actually helping each other. So one of the lady actually post the link say hey there you go. That's uh, where you can find the, the die cut that Lisa is using. I thank you so much. So this is the channel that I will love the people, they share great idea. If you find something other people they are looking for, share the information. So that way we can all get a great deal. So I just, uh, I just uh, read something from the internet. They say, let me show you what did they say. Okay, it's Winnie the Pooh. Okay, it say everything is better when you share it with a friend. Isn't that true? If you find something good, if I have something good, I would love to share with my friends. So it's exactly the same thing here. If you find some, if sometimes I use something and then I can't find it, or I try to do my best to listing the information. So if you know the information, please share um, the source with the other my other viewers or your friend. That will be awesome. It's exactly like a local King YouTube channel. So if you find that this channel is useful, you learn something, you're happy with the local King's channel, you're happy with my tutorial, please share with your friend. We really appreciate it if you can share this awesome channel with your friend. Okay, so that's the start of today's tutorial. Um, something awesome. Okay, that's started. Okay, for the papers, we are using the mirror paper, and I think you probably uh, need two full size uh, gla black glossy cardstock, and the one sheet of silver mirror paper, and the one sheet of gold mirror paper. And then you can make a two cards 5.5 by 5.5. Okay, so just have a, um, the, the foundation card ready. So first, I have a two sheets. Uh, do you want to see the gold or you want to see the silver? Hmm. Let's do the gold. Okay, so they are the same. Okay, first, here is a die cut. And uh, um, I try to just uh, um, give a little bit of reminder for the previous, uh, like a 
great tip, tip that I was showing in other tutorial. So when you're using very intricate die cut, okay, sometimes when you just um, run through the die cut machine, all those little pieces are stuck on your die cut and you have to spend the time to poke them out, right? So that can be solved by use a dryer sheet. Uh, on use dryer sheet, that for your dryer, dryer for your clothes. So you can just gently kind of rubbing the back of your die cut and that's it you don't have to do this every single time just once in a while and especially when you use a mirror paper the mirror paper the surface is very um, shiny smooth so slippery so you don't have to worry about that but just in case okay and then you are going to just put your die cut on top okay and they're going to run to the machine I will be right back okay so this is what uh, after you die cut it and the uh, or die cut quality is just awesome one run you can just cut through everything and then I want you to okay you can still try to keep your die cut um sorry your paper is still on your die cut and then if you oh, let's just do this it's easier okay and then there is a kiss cut over there i want you kind of just uh, break it off that you can kind of just wiggle it a little bit it's easier okay or you can just use a, a craft knife or a little scissor kind of trimming this uh, center piece out okay see my die cut is just a fall off of how from the um my uh, i my, my paper is just a fall off of on the die cut okay because of that rubbing with uh, the dryer sheets and then okay you're just poking all those small pieces out just by using the gold mirror paper see how pretty it is right okay and then here's something if it, it bothers you this is what I do so you can see there's a still little mark when you break it off that kiss cut the connection area right so what you can do is you can use a, a pair of a scissors I gotta go just trimming that little that's okay if that bothers you or you can use a sand those kind of stuff to send in your nails fire what's that called kind of just soften that little hinge if that bothers you okay so that's the first one right so i want to show you today's uh, trick Okay, so most of the people, you just uh, mount on the piece of card stuff. So that's what's like this, right? And the people can see, oh, she just uh, mount on the card stuff. But I want to see, I want to show you, see what's the difference between this, the one on the left side, and the, the one on the right side. The left side is kind of like a one piece, right? And then this one you can see is a uh, is die cut um, glue on the black car stuff. So how did I do that? First, we got to make sure we poke all the little section out. And then you are going to grab your die cut. Okay. And then uh, you are going to try to put the back to your die cut like this and then you are going to you know what that's do oh, it should be fine okay so just make sure okay we are going to secure this 
Okay, because after you die cut it, you kind of just, uh, and then those die cut, because they have a raising area, you see your die cut line, right? So it's actually, it's not that hard. It's just kind of like a putting back to that mold. So I'm going to just uh, tape it like this. And then I want you to do the embossing. How to do the embossing? You just put your die cut face up and then paper and a piece of rubber okay i don't want you to shingle anything because i'm using glossy black cardstock they are one side glossy one side not so if you put too much pressure actually it's going to damage the surface of the black cardstock you will see you will know what i'm talking about if it's happening okay so i'm going to run to the machine i will be right back okay so these is what it look like after I run through the machine and going to remove my tape okay and I'm going to pop this one up. okay see the embossing okay and then I am going to just glue back or I think you can glue, let's try one more time. I think we can glue it first and then we are going to do embossing. So for the glue one, I am using these micro glue dots. Okay, be careful, they are very sticky. Or you can use any kind of like a adhesive they will do too. You don't need a lot, so I kind of just put the lip on the bottom and the lip on top. Okay, and then we are going to just put it back. Okay. So that look like it's just like one piece. Okay, and then I'm going to just trimming off the extra. So let's try one more time with a silver color and I'm going to glue first. I think that's uh, probably easier. Okay, so that's try we glue it first and uh, so you can use a white glue or uh, any kind of glue will work but I just found these uh, micro, micro um, beads and I will provide the link to you uh, where you can find these uh, micro beads okay so let's do that the only thing you have to remember is they are so sticky you know and then we're going to just mount on top, try to put in the middle. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I want to show you the difference. So this is the one, it depends on which frame you're making the card. I think this is really pretty already, but I kind of just want to create, you know, more like a relief. So just one extra step. And then your friends are going to want to say, how did you do that? And then you're going to tell them you um, use a light table and the stylus and spend a long time to do that. Okay, so if you want to add more step, I found that this is easier to do it. You glue it first and then you can put the die cut perfectly lined up. Okay, it's very, very easy. And then we just put a little bit tape just in case and we're going to do the embossing. See, isn't this an easy project? It's uh, sometimes we can make us, you know, the fast doesn't mean it's uh, no good, right? But uh, this is a fast car. It's, it's, without I'm talking, it's probably just five minutes you can make this project but you want to hear I'm talking, right? Okay, so, but the result is amazing. So I'm going to run to the machine, we'll be right back. Ta-da! So this is what it looks like, and then see, because I rubbing that die cut with a dryer sheet, right? Nothing stick, right? It's just like this, and you see the relief. Okay, and then now we're going to mount on the color cards, I'm going to show you something extra, okay. So, you're going to fold in your car stuff first. And then I'm going to explain to you something about uh, this uh, B3 stamp set. 
Okay, my previous tutorial I was talking about the perfect stamina the versus the perfect husband, right? I think it's easier to find a perfect stamp than the perfect husband. So when I design this stamp set, this B3 stamp, the original design is kind of like a hanging basket and they have two little dragonflies around there, right? And then I found out this is actually perfect if you rotate it. So it's kind of like bushes with the dragonflies flying. Okay, it's just this dragonfly is a kind of, you know, extreme export, like a flying upside down, yeah? Right, but it's awesome, right? So, same stamp set depend if you try to when you mount your car. I show you when you mount like a reverse. Let me do this. I'm going to finish it. See the difference? It feel like hey, I have two stamp, but actually it's just one. Okay, so I am going to um, die cut it. I have a two piece of paper. Here is another gray um, product. So I am going to show you to use the Lisa Asian corner die. Lisa Asian corner die, uh, one set, you can come out with too many different patterns. So this is the, the, the die cut I was using it. And then see the same die cut, but something totally different. Right? See these are two color. Is it the same color? But this is a different, but it's the same die cut. And do I have the other one to show you? I have a where the other one. The other one is uh, this pair. Okay, but I'm gonna show you. So this week's special oh the first thing is this die cut is because it's small, it's so easy to lose them. What I did is I find a piece of magnet and I always, uh, after I use it, I put it back right away. You have no idea how many times I have to go dig through my garbage can to find the missing die cut. Okay, so when uh, this week's special promotion, this is $12.99, but if you order two or more combos that, you will get uh, this one for free. That's $12.99. And then you will get a small pack of dark glossy, double side coated for free, plus free shipping fee. So just to check uh, this month's, uh, this week's special promotion is going to end the 26th. Okay, so check it out. And then this is awesome because one set, one cut, you can count out with too many kind of, di uh, too many different, too many different kind of pattern. Okay. I am going to show you, actually, show you. See, this is a, the other different one. What I did is I cut, I glue my centerpiece on the cardstock and I cut the black one and the glue on top. So that's something else too, but I am going to show you how to do it. So it's very confused, but that's why you need this layout. You just follow the letters here exactly the way I place. So R mean R, uh, R mean right side, L mean left side. So you want to exactly place your die cut. Let's see this one. See, you see the L2, L1, R2, R1. So you're going to find your die cut on the die cut. See, there is R1, right? So the R1 is on the bottom, okay? And then you want to place your die cut exactly the place like this. So R1 and the R2 is on top. So just follow the instruction, okay? R2. You have to also follow the direction of the letters. So it's very important. And the L1 is on the bottom. Okay. Okay, this is the L1 on the bottom. Okay, I'll show you. On the these printout, you can see the letter, right? L1, L2, R1, R2. So R2 is on top. Okay, so do these. Try to corner to the corner. Okay. 
and I got the wrong to the machine and I will be right back before I go to my Daika machine just a friendly reminder okay see this uh, this is your Daika there's R1 R2 uh, R1 R2 uh, R2 R1 and the L1 L L2 L1 okay so just follow that and then on your die cut there is also the letters there too so if you follow the instruction I guarantee you you will get a perfect result okay so I am going to just remove my tape okay okay like this if they kind of off your main car okay something like this okay don't panic hey you can see me ah! Woo hi Woo -hoo. sorry that looks very choppy okay and then you're going to rotate it okay so you can poking those uh, okay it's not a defect item it's just a uh, um, part of a design so you can do a lot of things and then you are going to just use the you can glue it or just use those kind of regular tape kind of just tape tape that die cut piece make sure it don't fall off from your main car okay so you tape first and then you are going to poking all those uh, small pieces so can you imagine is the, the same okay first I'm going to put my corner dike back to my storage magnet sheet if you don't oops, see where is that one already okay I have to go fine oh here see it's very important I had done that too many times always go find your four die cut okay and then see how pretty it is oh I want to do the different direction or let's see that's a switch with the uh, silver it's also pretty unique too right so how do you think silver silver go 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 or oh, silver with a go or go with a silver so but I want to show you see that corner die cut is done by the same corner die but uh, it looks totally different there is uh, like a 10 or 12 different kind of pattern you can play around there so let me finish that silver car first and I'm going to show you all together okay before I run through our machine I want to just show you something else so I just place my die cut exactly like the gold one I just show you right but instead of I go right uh, level to the corner I kind of leave a 0.2 millimeter gap and then I'm going to die cut now and I'm going to show you what's different just by leaving a little bit space between that die cut okay done see first I want to show you see this die cut I kind of leave a little bit gap right and this one is right uh, uh, um, layering at the corner and then um, I kind of swap the gold to the silver silver to the gold why not right and then see the difference between these two it totally look like a like a two different kind of stamp one uh, is in the bushes one is like a hanging basket and then even though like this see it just looks different okay so that's today's tutorial I hope you like it if you like the tutorial give me a thumb up I love to hear from you so and I'm going to working on the other tutorial hoping 
it will be available to view and if you want to find out do I have a tutorial coming tomorrow or not just go to the local King DVD uh, library if there is tomorrow you will see that um, the preview for the, the tomorrow's tutorial I cannot guarantee it because uh, you know from your point of view this tutorial probably 20-30 minutes it take me like some time up to whole day to planning it a lot of preparation so if you like the tutorial like I say give me a thumb up it doesn't cost you anything share this awesome channel with your friend that the people know who is Lisa who is the sausage fingers so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye have a nice day bye